Om Shanti. Today is Thursday, the 24th of August, 2023. On this Sadguru Var, let us listen to the Sakar Murli from our beloved Bab Dada. Bab Dada Madhuvan. Essence. Sweet children, only by having unadulterated remembrance will your stage become unshakable and immovable. Make such effort that you remember nothing but the one father. Essence once again on this Thursday morning, Baba says, Sweet children, only by having unadulterated remembrance will your stage become unshakable and immovable. Make such effort that you remember nothing but the one father. Today's question, what service does Shiv Baba do and what is that you children have to do? In answer, Baba says, at the confluence age, Shiv Baba removes all souls from the graveyard. That is, he does the service of purifying souls who, by becoming body conscious, have become impure. You children have to become lighthouses and together with the father show everyone the way to the land of peace and the land of happiness. Let there be liberation in one eye and liberation in life in the other. Today's song is Who created this play and then hid himself away? Om Shanti In fact, this song belongs to the path of devotion. There is definitely someone this praise belongs to. You children understand very clearly that it is the father who does everything. He is Karan Karavanhar. What is Baba saying? You children understand very clearly that it is the father who does everything. He is Karan Karavanhar. Sikh people sing his praise a great deal because their religion is new, whereas that religion is very old. They remember Ek Umkar, that is, God is one, an oval image. Baba has also explained the meaning of Om very clearly, whereas they give a very long and complicated explanation. I tell you that I, the Supreme Soul, am the resident of the Supreme Abode. I do not take rebirth. You take rebirth. The Father sits here and introduces himself to you children. I reveal myself to only you children. What is Baba saying? The father sits here and introduces himself to you children. I reveal myself to only you children, says Baba. It has been explained to you that I am the supreme father, the supreme soul, the one you souls have been remembering on the path of devotion as God the father. He is praised as the purifier the merciful one and the liberator. He is also called the guide. This is the Pandav army. The guide shows the path to liberation and liberation in life. People sing, take our boat across. God is definitely called the boatman as well as the master of the garden. He says, you used to be very intoxicated. You were carefree emperors in the golden and silver ages. You had so many riches. At Srinath Dware, they, they cook rich food for the bhog they offer. They cook very rich, nourishing food there, whereas they only cook rice and dal at the Jagannath temple. Dirty images of deities are displayed there. All of you are now dirty. At the Srinath Dware temple, they make first class food which they offer to Srinath as bhog. It is then taken by priests who sell it at their stalls. What does happen? At Srinath Dware temple, Baba says they make first class food which they offer to Srinath as bhog. It is then taken by priests who sell it at their stalls. They earn their livelihood through that. You children are becoming the masters of heaven. Your maids and servants also eat the same rich food that you eat there. 36 varieties of food are prepared, but you couldn't eat that much. And so, the maids and servants eat it as well. However, you mustn't simply be happy with that. A whole kingdom is being created. 
you will live there in great pleasure and comfort your children will receive your fortune of the kingdom of heaven that is being established by the world mighty authority baba says you will receive your fortune of the kingdom of heaven that is being established by the world almighty authority it is said knowledge devotion and disinterest now there are two types of disinterest the disinterest of sanyasis is limited they leave their homes and businesses and go and live in the jungles they help to bring a lot of benefit to bharat in an incognito way it is said that the gates of heaven open through destruction in the same way sanyasis help through their purity this is why that praise is sung in the drama why is the praise of sanyasis sung in the drama baba says it is said that the gates of heaven open through destruction and sanyasis help to bring a lot of benefit to bharat in an incognito way this is why their praise is sung in the drama the father says this knowledge will later disappear so their disinterest is limited whereas yours is unlimited the unlimited father inspires you to have unlimited disinterest stay in your households and simply remove everything from your intellects these bodies are old your 84 births are now complete forget your bodies and all your bodily religions baba says forget your bodies and all your bodily religions and relationships and consider yourselves to be souls they say that souls are immune to the effect of action that you can eat and drink whatever you want and you will not be affected in any way there are many different opinions and many different systems and customs whatever idea someone starts it just carries on for instance some refer to adi dev as mahavir but then they also call hanuman mahavir in fact all of you are mahavirs meaning great warriors who gain victory over maya you make effort based on shrimat you have to create a stage like that of angad whom ravan wasn't able to shake no matter how many storms of maya come you great warriors must not shake you cannot have this stage at this time but it will be like that at the end baba says you cannot have this stage at this time meaning the unshakable stage but it will be like that at the end no matter how many storms of vicious thoughts come you must remain unshakable you should have unadulterated remembrance no one else should be remembered a great deal of effort is required for this only at the end will you be completely unshakable and immovable there is a memorial of achalgad that is the home of the unshakable one above that is guru shikhar you now understand that shiv baba is the highest on high he is the creator what did he create first this too should remain in your intellects shiv baba is the highest on high then there are brahma vishnu and shankar the residents of the subtle region why is vishnu shown with four arms baba says it is proof of the household path they follow your path is the household path establishment takes place to brahma the brahman religion is the highest of all you are even more elevated than the deities what is baba saying the brahman religion is the highest of all and you are even more elevated than the deities because you do service you carry out the establishment of the deity religion and you then become the masters of the world the one father is the highest of all that is only shiv baba and no one else is worthy of praise baba says the one father is the highest of all that is only shiv baba and no one else is worthy of praise the principal birthday is shiv baba's because no one else does as much service lakshmi and narayan just experience their reward it is now the time of settlement for everyone initially it is the father who is worshiped that worship is unadulterated worship has now become completely adulterated 
starting with shiv baba you know everyone's occupation you are now sitting with baba in practical you understand that you are once again making bharat into heaven those who create it will then go and rule there what is baba saying you are now sitting with baba in practical you understand that you are once again making bharat into heaven those who create it will then go and rule there 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 will be the dynasty of lakshmi and narayan and then that of rama now what benefit is there in worshiping them baba asks us what is the benefit in worshiping lakshmi and narayan and then rama they have to descend they simply experienced their reward that's all you are now becoming worthy of worship from worshipers you understand what happens on the path of devotion and how you take 63 births you are now brahmins then from brahmins you go through the deity warrior merchant and shudra castes this drama is eternally fixed no one can stop it this is a game of somar salting people go on a pilgrimage while somar salting previously the game of somar salting while on a pilgrimage was considered very important now many different opinions have emerged no one except the one father can grant liberation or liberation in life you now have liberation in one eye and liberation in life in the other your intellect say we are lighthouses you are the lighthouses who show human beings the path first of all you have to return to your sweet home this play is now about to end you children understand that this true geeta is being created so that those who are weak can study it and become strong what do we understand we understand that this true geeta is being created so that those who are weak can study it and become strong everything else is to be destroyed the same geeta will be created again they quote a verse from the geeta and then explain the meaning of it it says in the geeta god speaks it was god who spoke the geeta but people don't understand that the father says i cannot be found by studying those scriptures i come when devotion ends knowledge is the day and devotion is the night for half a cycle it is the kingdom of ravan ravan is not visible it can be understood with the intellect when someone has an evil spirit of lust and someone has an evil spirit of anger meaning ravan is visible when someone has an evil spirit of lust or someone has an evil spirit of anger these words of impurity are not used in the golden age here people continue to insult one another none of these exist in the golden age you now understand that the father the purifier is the creator of heaven he creates heaven and then hides himself away no one is able to know him even though there is the image of shiva people don't understand anything about when or how shiva came what is the significance of brahma vishnu and shankar or where they reside how did lakshmi and narayan claim such an elevated kingdom in heaven they do not exist in the iron age you now understand how they claimed the kingdom you children have to study very well with the father and then teach others the father says to all his children my long lost and now found children oh my saligrams i enter this body in order to explain to you i have adopted this body of brahma brahmins are created through brahma people don't object when you go to other satsangs but they do object when you come here quarrels take place due to poison it is about this that the father says this poison causes you sorrow from the beginning through the middle to the end this is the number one enemy baba is referring to lust as the number one enemy baba says conquer this enemy of lust the enemy that has caused you sorrow from its beginning through the middle to the end that is why people call out o purifier come they know that they are impure that is why they go and bow their heads 
in front of pure ones. Sannyasis attract others with their purity and this is why they are given a high status. They also think that no one throughout the whole of Bharat is as elevated as they are. You Shaktis also shot the arrows at them. If it had been a question of physical arrows, it would not have been said that it was God who inspired them to shoot those arrows. Those arrows were of knowledge. You are Brahma Kumaris, but they call you Brahma Kumaris. They say that Brahm, the element of light, is God. The father says this is their Brahm or imagination. Many sannyasis now come to you. Many eminent people also go to the sannyasis. They say, Mahatma ji, come, we will offer you food. They offer them very good hospitality. They are a symbol of purity. Nowadays, many robbers dress as sannyasis. You are completely honest and you are also Raj Rishis. You now understand everything from the top to the bottom. You understand that you will become deities like Lakshmi and Narayan and claim your reward. Halfway through the cycle, when other religions come, wars begin. All of that is fixed in the drama. You have become knowledgeful, having come to know the supreme region, the subtle region and the physical world, as also the beginning, the middle and the end of the world. You also understand the cycle in order to become rulers of the globe. Baba says Lakshmi and Narayan were the king and queen with the double crowns in Bharat. Those with a single crown bow down to them. They had the power of purity. In the golden age, they were completely viceless. People sing, you are completely viceless, full of all divine virtues. Why do they sing this praise? Because they themselves are vicious worshippers. The whole play is based on Bharat. There was a double crown and then a single crown and now there is no crown. You have come to understand the whole world cycle. You now understand who the creator, the director and the principal actor is. You will then become deities. The dirt of Maya is being washed off you. What is Baba telling us? The dirt of Maya is being washed off you. The father says, I am the laundry man and also the greatest goldsmith. So Baba is covering the entire spectrum from being a laundry man to a goldsmith. You ornaments are now put in a furnace. You will then become real ornaments. The father is also the barrister who releases you from the jail of the five vices. He liberates you. You are in the jail of Ravan. Baba gives you legal advice on how you can free yourself from this jail. The father says, I carry out my task and give you the fortune of the kingdom and then I disappear. You become happy. Once you have claimed your kingdom, I will go into retirement. Acha, who are the most fortunate ones? Baba is asking us. Baba says, the Kumaris are the most fortunate. Baba says, I fulfill my duty. You are impure and unhappy and you cry out. Therefore, the father's duty is to grant the children liberation and liberation in life. There is no one else who can grant liberation. Those people give themselves many titles, but they are all completely wrong. The intellects of human beings are completely without love at the time of destruction. You children continue to say, Baba, Baba. However, people don't understand the significance of this. They think that you are perhaps remembering this Baba, meaning Brahma Baba. You children know that Baba has made you into the masters of heaven innumerable times. This is your godly birth. The father says, remember me alone. It is this that requires effort. Achha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bhaptada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say Namaste to our spiritual father. Today's essence for dharna has two points. The first point, Baba says, 
Study well with the Father and teach others. Become a lighthouse and show everyone the path to liberation and liberation in life. Second point, stay in unadulterated remembrance of the one Father and thereby create an unshakable and immovable stage for yourself. Become a great warrior. Finally, the blessing for today is, may you be generous hearted and by having an alokic exchange of give and take, become full of all specialities. Blessing once again on this Thursday morning. Baba says, may you be generous hearted and by having an alokic exchange of give and take, become full of all specialities. Baba explains, when you go to a mela, you give some money and receive something in return. Before you receive anything, you have to give something. So too, in this spiritual mela, you take something from the father or from someone else. That is, you imbibe it yourself. When you imbibe a virtue or a speciality, ordinariness finishes. What is Baba saying? When you imbibe a virtue or a speciality, ordinariness finishes. By imbibing virtues, your weaknesses automatically finish. This becomes a form of giving. Be generous at every second in this give and take and you will become full of all specialities. Finally, the slogan for today. Experiment with your specialities and you will experience progress at every step. Baba says, Prayog with your specialities and you will experience pragati at every step. Slogan once again. Experiment, experiment or prayog with your specialities and you will experience progress or pragati at every step. Acha Om Shanti.